Hey Kickstarter, this is Keith Baxter. You may know me as the inventor of the servo electric guitar featured in Popular Science a couple years ago. Well, I've decided to move on to something a bit more accessible, and I've teamed up with a local programmer and electronic music enthusiast, Peter Stretz, and Peggy Brown, an award-winning industrial designer, to bring you the Cube MIDI keyboard. So, how does this work? Fundamentally, the Cube is a keyboard, but it's not exactly like a typical keyboard. The outer surface of the Cube is covered with lightly domed metal plates, each of the plates connected internally by a wire to a Teensy, that's a brand, microcontroller which controls the pad to detect a finger touch by capacitive sensing. Without getting into too much detail, capacitive sensing monitors your karmic aura, providing the Cube with feather sensitivity. But that's not enough. Nuanced musical play requires not only precise sensing of the note you're playing in time and space, but also control of note loudness. For that purpose, the Cube contains a three-dimensional accelerometer that can detect even the slightest shake of the box, caused by a finger touch. It's the same technology used to trigger airbags in your car, but implement it with somewhat more subtlety. The microcontroller, the capacitive sensing, and the accelerometer operate to give you control of pitch, timing, and velocity with high precision and sensitivity. While the Cube is a keyboard, it's an extremely versatile keyboard. It communicates using a USB connector to almost any computer synthesizer. No batteries are required because the power is obtained from the USB connection. And because it uses standard musical interface, MIDI, it works with almost every computer and musical synthesizer. We provide instructions on how to link with popular free and versatile synthesizers. It even works with the Apple iPad. So to recap, it's maker-friendly, open-source software so you can change and revise the software as you'd like, Arduino compatible toolchain, feather touch, low latency, and it provides velocity sensitivity. Take a look at our page. I think you'll find that the Cube is cool, creative, and powerful, and yet it's easy enough to be used as your first instrument. 